Greetings everyone. Welcome to another video. Um, yeah, so I think I overdid it on the sheet of aluminium that I needed, but uh, <laughs> better safe than sorry now. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. It's not very straight, but we can straighten it up in a, bit, in a little bit. That's making the belly pan for the scooter. I'm going to, rather than make it out of one piece, I'm going to make it out of multiple pieces and then just nut and bolt it together. Nice and easy. Lazy. Smaller smaller cuts and whatnot. Um, I would have loved to have incorporated these sides into it, but it's too much hassle. So I'm afraid we can just live with it being a, a flat bottom. Uh, I mean, it's doable, of course, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll see what we come up with. Okay. Okay. Well, I was a bit unsure how I was going to do this, actually. And I thought, you know what? I'll just do more cuts than I have to. And I did. And I cut the middle out. And I thought, you know what? I can cut the sides out just by flipping them over. And that's what I've done. It turns out they're just about the right size um, to meet the floor of the of the scooter. I'll have to do a bit of jiggery pokery, but I reckon I can budge that pretty good. That's going to look pretty good. That is. I'm going to have a, see a cover coming up here, up to here, and then I'm going to try and have another piece, a cut here, and another piece that will bolt sliding down was like a fork to allow this piece the steering yoke to fit through and then have that bent probably to 45 degree whatever degree that is coming up here uh, all the time it's going to be i might make it wide actually screw it why not be a nice bit of a fair to duck behind wouldn't it screw it why not that's the cool thing when you don't make things with a plan because you can just adapt it as you go along and I love doing that you don't know how it's going to look you get a rough idea as to what it's going to look like but uh, making things without a plan sometimes it's the best way to make things this is completely without a plan this is I got a mental picture of how I want it to kind of look in my head but I've got no idea what it's going to look like when it's done <laughs> what I know is it's going to be awesome I didn't realise that this has actually still got the protective thingy on it. How about that? Cool. That was a piece of uh, signage, I think, for a storefront, that was. How am I going to uh, fit it to it and hold it to it? Uh, hmm. I think hose clumps would do the job. I was thinking new bolts, but screw it. Hose clumps. I've got two nice mounting points just here. Uh, I'm going to file that off. I don't know if that's a threaded hole actually. If that's a threaded hole I might leave it. And have it so it pokes through. But yeah, um, I think it is a threaded hole. Yeah, it is a threaded hole. That's cool. Not even going to use nuts. Okay, well, things have happened and I've made the bottom plate down there for it. Which is good. I don't mind that looking like that. It's come out better than I thought it would. But I'm not 100% on the top panel. I've made it out of cardboard first, just to uh, get a rough idea as to what it looks like. And I don't know. Hmm. That is... Mm, I don't know. I really don't know if I like that or not. My other plan would be to sort of make it a triangular shape. Let me try and draw it with my finger. From here, up to there, across, and back down again, like that. That might look a little bit, uh, a little better. Although I must admit, that would make a very good wind, a wind stop, and obviously uh, a little bit of a rain canopy. And it does make it look very old-fashioned. <laughs> uh, but I kind of like the barrenness of how it was where it was just a frame. So I think I'm going to go with that first one first. 
I can always make a panel like this after. I could just make it out of a piece of perspex or something. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do the small panel, the small triangular shape panel. That is going to look the best. It's definitely going to look the best. But I do kind of like that. I don't, I do. It's a love hate. Please, comment. Tell me what you like. Because I've got enough aluminium to make that. And make the uh, the other panel as well, so... Hmm. Let me know what you think. Please. Your input is highly valued. Well, time's cracking on a bit. And I have work tomorrow, so... <laughs> I should get this over and done with. I have just set the tyres onto the rims. Um, blown them up and then released the pressure out of them again. So I can <sighs> paint the rims again because I've took all the paint off. <laughs> levering the tyres back on. Um, so I'm quite happy with the progress I've done. Uh, it's not bolted to it. It's um, it's doing pretty good. I've bolted all the sheets together and made it so that they don't fall apart. But uh, yeah, it's good enough for now. I like it. It's good. Uh, I may end up leaving it like that, to be honest, because nothing I do looks right. I might make a little cover for it so it goes over the top. But other than that, one light turn back on again. A little solar powered light and I see. Jerry rig together. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll just make a small little up and over, and that's it for it for now. Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. That'll do for for now. I can build the rest of it whenever. The next job is to make a floor, is it? No, the next job is to put a, yeah, put the engine in, I think. Get the wheels on. Had a bit of a disaster, unfortunately, and I found out the forks that I've bought for it don't fit. Even though it says they are for this moped. But they are much too wide. So they don't fit in these little tiny holes. Uh, I've messaged a chap on eBay and he's not got back to me. Uh, hoping he would, but he's not. Uh, there's some forks on eBay right now, which are at an auction, quite cheap. Uh, sadly, they end in like 10 days, typical. So I've got to wait a week or two, well, just a week and a bit. And then, uh, yeah, well, that'll do. That'll do. If I can get them, that'll be good. So yeah, that'll do me. Um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video, I guess. Peace out everyone.